and to the glory of all men to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're saving the beasts. Hello, my name is Lauren. We are at Birmingham Covington School and we are doing a project on Save the Bees. We have 11 different groups working on this project. I'm making surveys. They educate the people around the school about the bees and we also get to learn about what the people know around the school. I found it kind of surprising how few people knew about CCD. It's called Colony Collapse Disorder and it's a disorder that bees have that makes them really, really sick and they disappear from the hive. Colony collapse disorder is kind of like bee aids. It's killing off bees everywhere. In China, bees have gone extinct. Two thirds of the human diet relies on bees pollination, like fruits, vegetables, and wheat. So two thirds of our diet could disappear. We're making an educational kit, like a packet for all, for other people to look at so they can learn about bees. For example, this shows the differences between the bees. These are the different types of honeybees that you can find. That's the queen bee in the middle. This is the stage of all the honeybee life history. It starts from eggs and it goes to larva and then pupa and then adult and it shows the worker queen drone and then they show the the worker call. We're setting all this stuff out so we can look at it and examine how the bees work in their hive. We go on the internet and we search the stuff we need to start making our beehives. This is what we're going to make the beehive out of. This is all the wood for it. This is a honeycomb. It is part of a bee's nest. It does seem to be falling apart, but uh, I think this is the area where the um, queen lays her eggs. And then they put a beeswax over it so when they Babies are born, they have to chew through it to get out. Honey bees only sting when they're trying to protect their hive. We have a petition online at our website where you can go on and like learn about the honey bees. www.bcsbees.com We've been trying to set up a foundation, but we want to partner up with a big organization that supports the honey bee. MSU and Oakland University are both very, um, they have a, both have very large programs that support raising the honeybee. Hi, my name is Stepan. I'm from Birmingham Covington School. And we want to know if you would be interested in partnering up with us and have a joint foundation to help raise money to help save the bees. Thank you. We are doing an assembly at our school right now to educate our school about the bees. Colony Collapse Disorder. A honeybee's biggest nightmare. A deadly bee-killing disease. Colony, Colony collapse, collapse disorder. disorder. A disease we need to be aware of. If the honeybees go extinct, we are predicted to follow 13 years later. If the bees go extinct, so do we. Colony, Colony collapse, collapse disorder. disorder. All of the light is um, supposed to represent the human race, and as the honeybee goes extinct, all of our food can like disappear. The honeybee is suffering from the terrifying epidemic, Colony Collapse Disorder, which is a deadly disease to bees. 66% of all the world's bees have already gone extinct. Parts of China have already witnessed the extinction of the honeybee. Hand pollination has already taken place in many areas of China. This is an example of hand pollination in China. 1970, CCD began its effect. 1990, beekeepers began to see bad changes in their colony, plus a 15 through 17% wipeout of the bees. 2002 through 2006, most bee farms and hives see more disappearances in the population, a 35% wipeout of the bees. 2010 through 2011, a serious wipeout of 75%. My classmates are building hives and we are going to set them up in the environmental center in Birmingham and our goal is to pollinate all of Birmingham and try to sort of get the honeybees up and working. We're connecting these um, frames together to make the outside of the box. Oh wow, that does slide right in. <laughs> We're building two hives, so 10 boxes. Hit this side. When we found out that the honeybees might be going extinct, we got a little nervous because we discovered all of our fruits, all of our vegetables, everything that we grow and need to survive. Um, Albert Einstein had a quote that said, in two to four years, if bees went extinct, that we wouldn't have any food to live anymore. So we thought there was a very good cause because honeybees are more important than I think we thought they would be in our ecosystem.
The white paint protects them from the rain. <laughs> Once the boxes are built, this is how we assemble them. The bottom box is used for when the mites or any debris that falls down, you can pull this out and you can clean it off. This is where like the babies go and they stay here for safety. And you put these in there like this. The spaces are very specific for the bees so they can get out and they can look around and stuff. When you take these out, this is where they put their honeycombs and they raise their bees in here. Our goal is to educate Birmingham on the importance of saving the honeybees.